verify results, verify results, verify results. Because I tell you, only deal with people with verified results. Don't listen to anybody that doesn't have verified revolt, re results. That means results that you can verify. Don't do it. And so when when when, he, when he's calling somebody with un, with verified re results, and that's what he says, I'm like, you're not ready to be in real estate because I'm not worthy of mentoring you because number one, when you get the money, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? That's my number one question to anybody that wants me to spend personal time with them. Because I can show you how to make money. I can show you how to make six figures, seven figure, eight figures in real estate. But what are you going to do with the money when you get it? That's what I'm most concerned about. If you're just going to go buy Bentleys and big houses, I don't know. There's no reason for me to help you do anything. Right? No reason. Because remember, every single one of us is here to serve. We're not here to... We're not here to serve ourselves. We're here to serve other people. Build a business to serve others. My son wants to start a, a new business. I'm like, I said, your, your integrity is not aligned with what you want to do. It's not aligned. Your integrity is over here and the business is over here. You focus on making money versus serving and helping. Right? So if you, if you, if you have a business or you want to start a business, it should be built to serve others, not yourself. It will serve you because if you serve others, guess what? You're not doing it for free you will get paid. You don't have to focus on the get paid piece. What you have to focus on is the service piece. Everything that I do, this I don't get a dime for training, y'all. This doesn't benefit me at all, just so you guys know. Like, not zero. It's net zero for me. Net zero. But I do it because there's certain people on here. I know if I could give them one or two ideas a year, their business will keep ratcheting it up. And those are people I follow. And EXP, the good thing about EXP I love versus when I was with other real estate companies is the more successful you help somebody else be, the more successful you'll become. It's unreal. I love it. Okay. So why do people not set schedules? Who in here hates setting schedules? <laughs> Who in here hates setting schedules? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people do. Some people hate it. Hate. Hate. <laughs> people hate it and just share why you hate it just i'm curious i mean i i, I did I did this a, a few weeks ago but i like to hear people why do you hate setting schedules just curious because when i don't do what i'm supposed to do i feel i'm like oh shoot i didn't everything i thought i was gonna do today i didn't do it so it makes me kind of sad that's so that's you're looking for that chocolate bar down huh? i feel like you said <laughs> latte or something like that huh? anybody else why do you why do you not like a schedule Mine always gets interrupted. I always get calls from the school about one thing or another. So, yeah, yeah. yeah my son used to get in a fight every day from kindergarten till the ninth grade. I used to go up to school like, yeah, that's my son. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was me last week. <laughs> All the time. Anybody else? Why do you hate setting schedules? It's okay, guys. You're in a safe zone. It doesn't matter to me. You might help somebody else with your feedback okay. I'm people overlaying. don't do it um sorry people don't do it because they're fearful that if that they won't accomplish everything that's on their their schedule they won't do it so over chunk huh well yeah got that miss Sutton um it's not a fear of setting